Hello everyone and welcome back to Nihon Gaku. We are currently almost uh, finished with the Yayoi period, but not quite there yet. I'm um, having some technical issues last time. I'm hoping those don't strike us again, but uh, you never, or I, I should say, I never know with this goddamn computer. So let's just cross our fingers. Um, up here, exploring Ezo, which is this, or Hokkaido, which is this island up here. Definitely... Ooh, there's some ruins up there. There's so many barbarians up here. What is going on? I guess I'll just attack. Might not be the smartest move. And here, yes. Well, eventually we should be at Madagascar soon enough here. I'm not really sure. Madagascar should be around here, unless this is it. I'm not really entirely sure how far away it is. <coughs> 150 AD. Not much is going on. Petra has just been built. We are... Not quite at the medieval era. I know everyone. I remember everyone else is there. Oh, and we were doing something important. Oh yes, we wanted to get to the medieval era before we got the next social policy, which makes sense. And someone, uh, someone reminded me that the national college only boosts your uh, science in this particular city. Which means that I, as much as I want to get it done soon, I really don't want to have that in Osaka because Kyoto is much better for science. So I am going to cancel that, unfortunately. And we're just going to have to get the National College after we finish the Oracle. It's kind of an unfortunate turn of events, but what's necessary is necessary. And these guys have run away. This island right here is Sakhalin. Sakhalin. Um, I think that's a Russian name. And I may or may not get to this later. I could just briefly discuss it now. <coughs> People weren't... I don't remember if it was the Japanese or if everyone... I think I think everyone... No one was sure whether Sakhalin was actually an island or if it was connected to Russia. And that became very important in the late 18th, early 19th century for trade routes, like whether trade, whether boats had to go all the way around here or they would, whether they go through there. Um, and it was a Japanese man by the name of Mamiya Rinzo, I think. This, we're getting, this is about two, two millennia later, but Japanese Mamiya Rinzo was the one who discovered that it was a, uh, oh my god, there are a lot of ships down here. <sighs> uh, what are we going to do? Got to avoid these guys. I'm going to play this safe. Hang back. Um, who got promoted? This guy got promoted. You don't need to get the healing. You can just get the boarding party. So let's let's keep going up this way with you. Not get hit by the archers. Kill this guy would be great. Otherwise, how close are we? Oh, we completed the oracle. No, Darius. <coughs> no. Well... There is one bright side to this story, and that is that Gandhi wants to create an embassy with us now. That is that, as we will see in a second, as soon as this damn turn is over, which will be any minute now, we can now make the National College. And are we going to need to rush that? That's not going to do anything for us. Is this... I feel like I was making culture faster earlier, but... Whatever. Oh, I, oh, we were racing to beat the Oracle. Never mind. I, I'm confused. Okay. Where'd he go? He's right there. Keep the chase. Okay. We have one worker on this island. Let's send him down to Kyoto. Osaka has enough um, improvements for now. We want Kyoto to be the... Osaka's really out there. We want Kyoto to be the, the powerhouse city. <coughs> Tokyo would be good, too. Kuala Lumpur sees new natural wonder... Are there any... Lake Victoria should be over here somewhere. We're not going to be seeing that with a boat. And we're in the medieval era. Wonderful. Oh, the Russian guilds lost um, all its significance. God damn it. Let me kill you. Oh, you're almost trapped. I think we'll get him next turn. Okay, we need to do horseback riding. At the very least. Please. Oh, I need to kill this guy as well. This guy's... The spearman is healed, so... There's no point. Are you... How long have you been sitting here? Did you just finish? I'm hoping you're just finished and you had... It's not like you've just been sitting here for like 20 turns. I don't think you have. 
city states are taking very long turns. Okay, you are now going to cross the river and make another farm, I guess. How good is your production? Your production's not that good. I might. Is this is this a hill? Stop that. Yeah, this is a hill. So if I make a farm on there, it'll have two production and two food, which will be fantastic. Or maybe one food for now. Yeah, we don't have civil service, so just one food for now. But soon it will have two food. We also have silk now, which is good. Um, silk will become very important in just a couple of years to Japanese history. Let me end my turn. There we go. I'm going to have to make this guy move forward eventually. Are, turns pro are years progressing by 25 at this point? I, don't, I haven't been keeping track of it. I think it's around that. 25 years at a time. Uh, 25 years per turn, I mean. <coughs> I would love to get a scout. Are we actually, we are sending a scout all the way over here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Wow, he's made some progress. Okay. So you're going there first. And then I'll probably send him down into the southern tips of Africa. Um, this guy's dead. I mean, I killed the other guy. I'm going to send this guy back to Osaka. Hopefully he won't get attacked. I would love to be able to kill you. I would also love to be able to make another scout. I'm going to buy a scout in Osaka. Send him up here and up there, wherever, here. Because I don't want to, I don't want to have these, all these ruins go to waste. There are just so many. It's perfect. Oh, I should have improved this stone. <coughs> we'll do that next. Oh, so it's year 300. Year 300 was approximately the year that the Yayoi period ended. And the next period, which lasted from uh, 300 to 538, was the Kofun period. Hong Kong is bankrupt. Uh, next, tech, engineering, or drama and poetry? Let's see. Let's do drama and poetry. I I am a always a culture fanatic. Okay. Let's go up this way. Hopefully they won't get killed. And you... Actually, could make a road between Kyoto and Osaka. That'd be pretty good. Um, it cost us a lot of money. In fact, I don't even know if there's a point. There's not. Gonna, we're not going to be doing much military transfer between Kyoto and Osaka, so I'm actually not going to do that. That was a waste of a turn with my worker, but it's fine. Let's make a farm. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's the beginning, beginning of the Kofun period, and this was the period when uh, Shinto or Shintoism kind of took off. I think it had, it, it had existed amongst the Wajin Japanese people for a while, but this was kind of when it took its hold in the in the imperial court. And let's see. Shinto is very important to Japan because it's considered the like fundamental Japanese religion, whereas Confucianism and Taoism and... Didn't I just tell you to do something here? Um, what am I going to tell you to do? Let's tell you to actually make a farm. So we're not going to, we don't have that much food around here. Right? Yeah. Shinto and, and, uh, and Buddhism is the other. Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism are all <coughs> non-Japanese religions that have taken hold in Japan throughout history. Shinto is the one that, I mean, it had its roots, of course, in China, but it's like, it was really developed in Japan. Um, where does Tokyo have grown? Great. Osaka. You actually could make a Colosseum because we're really not doing too well on happiness. We're doing well on growth, which means we're doing poorly on happiness. Happiness. Also in the Kofun period, beginning around 300, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, the Yamato, or today, what people describe today as the Wajin, or like the, the like primary Japanese race <coughs> pretty much took control of the whole Japanese island in this period um, there were a lot of they were there were a lot of separate clans that together kind of formed one large semi united but not not terribly united um, collection of people Tokyo um, market or Coliseum Market Shrine is going to be fast. 
ruins explored, and we've revealed barbarian encampments. That doesn't matter at all. I did not send my worker all, I mean, my scout all the way over here just to reveal barbarian encampments. No. I do not want you to be moving through my territory. Yeah, and so J Japanese society, in this, despite the kind of like only semi united um, fact of the existence of the Wajin during this period, it still was, a, it became a kind of a pretty aristocratic society. Namely, I mean, what that basically means is just one. Oh, look, it's uh, Songhai, I think. No, not Songhai, sorry. Uh, the Zulu. Got confused. That's definitely their color. Um, you. Give you drill. 100%. You go up here. No boats, please. Oh, yes, that was actually perfect. Okay, we are going to improve our... Enhance our religion. Um, they have not taken swords into plowshares, which is tends to be my second favorite one. And enhance our belief. They left... These are the two ones that I usually take, so I'm just going to do religious texts because I like that probably the most. <coughs> Put an end to you. Next turn. We're almost done with the freaking Kofun period already. Um, rulers of the... Uh, this is just a small tidbit. Rulers of the of the Wajin people at this point just called themselves Okimi, which just meant great king. There was not... They didn't like actually have the word for emperor yet. What is drama? Uh, yes. Oh, here we are. Hello, Shaka. I like Shaka. Um, I particularly like playing as him. Am I going to be able to get through you? I may have to get open borders with him, which would be unfortunate, but ultimately necessary. Look, this guy's running away. Ruins explored. Equipped himself with advanced weaponry. And get off the water, please. Alright, drama and poetry. I'm going to go civil service. Yeah. We're going civil service. That'll give us so much food, and then we'll go back and get whatever the one we left behind was engineering. <coughs> and let's see. Also in the Kofun period, the the Hata clan, which um, came from China around 400, um, set up a base. I, th I, don't, I don't remember exactly where it was. I imagine possibly in Kyushu, which is the southern area. Uh, can we have open borders? Uh, accept embassy. That's fine. This guy's this guy's threatening when you're near him, but there's no way to make this work. Come on, come on, man! What's wrong with you? Can I go around? Probably not. Heal. Anyway, the, the, a Chinese clan set up here, and they claim to be in Japan. <coughs> and they claim to be the... Um, what are we making in Tokyo? So many distractions. Uh, walls. 100% walls. They claimed to be descendants of bronze working. Fent. We hadn't done bronze working yet? Jesus, oh my god, I didn't even realize that. That was so far back. They claim to be the descendants, not of bronze working, but of Qin Shi Huang. Um, I think that's how you... I don't I probably didn't pronounce the last word right. But he was... He's also known as King Zheng. Um, he was the first emperor of China <coughs> around 200 BC. Which is not... It's not particularly important to the history of Japan, but it is nevertheless a very cool tidbit, and I don't think anyone knows if they were actually descendants of Chinchur Huang. Um, we're really going out here. So this is definitely Madagascar. We're not going to be able to get around. Okay, let's kill this guy. Just for the fun of it. Unfortunately, I don't think this guy got any... Yeah, we w I would have liked to get the scout upgrade, um, whatever it is that heals you every turn. Go for drill. And Kyoto needs to build something. That's definitely Writer's Guild. Um, oh, have you finished the National College? Excellencia. Yeah, Writer's Guild, and then we'll catch up with some other buildings. And, oh, finally, the reason I mentioned the importance of silk <coughs> earlier is that this was the period in which uh, sericulture or, develop, or uh, production of silk 
came from China to Japan. And of course, many people, as many people know, silk is very important to Japan's identity and has very, has very long been important to very extremely important to Japan's um, like industrial or production identity. They've long been like one of the biggest, if not the biggest producer of silk. And it was one of the few things that they <coughs> traded to the outside world during the uh, Tokugawa period where they were quote unquote isolated, which is a little over a millennium from right from currently. Um, yeah, I guess we just might as well, oops, let's avoid that ship. We're just going to have to camp out until Shaka wants to give us open borders. Rather frustrating on his part. That's about it for the Kofun period. And the Kofun period just ended. It is damn well about it for the Kofun period. This world can be cruel. Yeah, sure, Gandhi. China can be cruel, and we need allies to boost against her. Um, we're beating Shaka on China. China has so many cities, but she doesn't have, like, any... She has so many cities, and she's doing so well in technology, but why is it... it I think it's just because she doesn't have a religion. Uh, shoot this boat. We could probably kill that boat. Stop automatically moving the camera. Um, yes, perfect. Kathmandu wants Shinto. Well, that's rich. Kill you. Not gonna kill you, which is annoying. And you, please improve these deer. And you, please... How much money are we making? Zero. I'd like to get some money. We could send our religion to... Yeah, we need to stop. We don't need to keep growing for now. I'm gonna send this to China. I'll get us some science. I'm not gonna give her that much gold. They will also spread our religion to her cities, which is excellent. Um... Is this city still working, Mount Fuji? Yeah. What? Oh, no camps here? No camps. <coughs> Definitely gonna build a camp there. Um, oh, so uh, the Kofun period ended in 538, followed by the Asuka, Asuka period, which lasted from 538 to 710, which should cover us for this video. The Asuka period was Asuka period was pretty important. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bureaucracy, bureaucracy. Um, we should probably do iron working. I don't care much for theology, but there is education. Ugh. Are we gonna need any of these things? Not really. As much. God damn it! I hate making these decisions. I really just want to go straight to education, and I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause I always just fix it, get fixated on rushing the science related. Uh, technologies. Um, we're happy again. You just finished the Coliseum. Fantastic. Let's make an amphitheater. Yes. We could make another cargo ship as well. Um, I'm just going to leave my boat here and hope that Shaka eventually agrees to make some kind of peace. Okay. I'm going to send this guy over to this island. Just have him cross this little strait here. Maybe even put a city up here. That would be interesting. Archer, I'm not going to upgrade you right now. Hoping that will never be necessary. <coughs> cough, cough, China. Okay, so what happened in the Asuka period? Um, this was, perhaps most importantly, the period during which Buddhism arrived in Japan um, from King Seong, I think. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce Korean vowels, but King S-E-O-N-G. Uh, king of Bakje, Bakja, Bakja, in which was in Korea, a kingdom in Korea, I think. And uh, now you're gonna keep going here, buddy. I'm just gonna send you all the way down here. Somehow Shaka is not. Well, I don't want to go on the water. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna send this guy down there. All these fantastic city places over here. So Buddhism came in. Um, there was a division between the ruling classes who were, I think the Soga clan, I think, was the main ruling class at this point, or the ruling clan. Um, they they welcomed Buddhism. They liked the, uh, the idea of bringing the tenets of Buddhism and Confucianism into Japan. And there were other clans who were more resistant to 
outside influences, and that led to a good amount of strife, internal strife, which I think actually <coughs> culminated, or not cum like climaxed, I should say, nice map, in the coup of, I think it was, yeah, I think it was actually 538, so about 100, year, 100 years before where we are right now. Um, which, in which, uh, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think anyone, I don't think it, I couldn't find exactly who took over from who or what exactly happened, but it did, Buddhism was not, like, prevented or banned. It was more the coup, I don't think the coup actually had any relation to the religious strife. <coughs> there was just, the religious strife was just part of the, like, political strife. Um, Kyoto, let's see. Coliseum. But um, some people initiated a coup and took over and basically um, adopted the Confucian belief in the kind of central, the grand importance of the central authority. And it was this point that the Japanese, the well, it was at this point that the, the Waji and the Japanese people started uh, renamed themselves, renamed Japan from Wa to Nihon or place of the rising sun. And it was also at this point that they had the, the ruler adopted the title of emperor or Tenno, I think is how you pronounce it. <coughs> Tenno. Um, you finished the great mass of Jene. Um, during this period, pagodas were introduced. Those were originally a Buddhist thing from farther west. <coughs> and also with Buddhism came a banned during this period on the consumption of a lot of semi-wild or wild animals like cows and horses and I think el they also banned the consumption of birds, dogs and monkeys which gets kind of ridiculous but I guess they were eating those things. Um, that ban only lasts throughout the Asuka period in 1710 or at least at least around 1800 it was that was lifted temporarily at least um okay so we want to go exploration yeah because we're going to be having a lot of we're going to be mainly focusing on coastal cities as much as i would like rationalism we're not going to be commerce and rationalism are both tempting but i i i, I like exploration a lot as a as a policy tree uh let's see I guess I could use this guy to explore up here. I don't know. I'm going to keep this guy around for now. Um, yeah, that's... That's pretty much it for <coughs> the Asuka period. There was a lot of, like, important things happening, but... I mean, I, as, like, a historian... Not that I'm a historian yet, a student of history, tend to be more interested in, like... I'll get out of here. The things that grab me are more like big events and less like actions of less like actions of people and more like kind of grander tides, um, as pretentious as that sounds. So the stuff that I the stuff that I tend to note tends to be um, less related to like the actions of like individual princes or kings or people who <coughs> had specific interactions um okay how are we let's look at the demographics we're first in population in the entire world that's huge we're not first in population oh my god it's because it's because uh we have so much we have so many people in kyoto and the um let's see can we go and take this kill we can in this game Many of you probably already know this. The each uh, population that gets added onto the each population gets added that gets added onto a city, a pre-existing city, inc increases the like population, the demographic population like exponentially. So because we have the, these extra three people here, we are ahead of China, even though they clearly have more population than us in terms of these numbers. Like we have. 31 and they have let's see 14 23 34 41 at least they probably have more cities as well 
and what are we going to build in Tokyo? Um, not castle. We, we want to I want to build a castle here, but I don't think we have that technology yet. So let's build a fishing boat. Since we haven't been building too many units recently, and I actually feel like we should really start doing that as soon as possible. Um, what am I looking for? Work boat. Here we go. I was looking for a fishing boat. I think my these frame drops are telling me that my computer is about to run out of um, recording steam for whatever reason. So this may probably will be the end of this episode. <coughs> but this is actually perfect because we basically we got through. Let's see. What's this national wonder? What national wonder did I discover? Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh great. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. Um, we finally ended the Ayoi period. We got through the Kofun and also through the Asuka. And now, let's actually let's just end this turn so we get to the, the Nara period, which is next. I'm going to leave you here, camp, next turn. And I will leave you with the promise of the Nara period, 710 to 794. We might actually get into it. I don't know. This might bring us up 25 turn or 25 years, which... <coughs> we will discuss next time. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you learned as much as I do from this series. Because um, most of most of what I know about Japan is much, much later. So this is fan a fantastic opportunity for me to get familiar with the more ancient history. And particularly the history of Japanese religion, which I really don't know anything about. All right, um, please give this video a like if you liked. Uh, leave a dislike if you despised it. Subscribe if you experienced some combination of both and want to keep uh, experiencing sensory uh, stimulation. Thank you very much, guys, and see you next time.